Hey guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Reviews here, and I got requested to make kind of a video showing upcoming releases and kind of my thoughts on them and which ones I'm going to pick up. I'm not sure exactly what format you guys will want this in, um, but this is what I'm going to do for this month at least. I'm just going to show you uh, Blu-ray.com's uh, scheduled releases for October 2014. Obviously I have no control over whether or not these are released, but let's just go through them real fast. Uh, we got Edge of Tomorrow, which kind of has a controversy. They changed the name possibly to Live, Die, Repeat. Uh, let's see if we can get a bigger picture. Um, Live, Die, Repeat. And then I thought it was supposed to say, oh yeah, Edge of Tomorrow right there. So did they change the name? I don't know. IMDb says they did. Um, this is a movie with Tom Cruise where he, uh, I don't know exactly how it works, but he kind of travels, not even travels, he's reliving the same day over and over in some war and he's trying to get some different outcome or something and supposedly he dies like a bunch of times um i really want to see this now a lot of people did not see this but everyone who did seemed to like it um you know i'll probably if i get this which i hope i do <laughs> uh i'll probably get the 3d version but um this target exclusive steelbook looks pretty sweet i think it's a steelbook yeah I mean, that's that's an awesome picture. I might have to get that one, too. <laughs> if, I can, if I can swing that. <laughs> um, all right, we got Sleeping Beauty. Uh, Diamond Edition Blu-ray. Um, I might get that for the wife. Uh, a, million days to, a Million Ways to Die in the West. Um, with Seth MacFarlane actually starring in it. I don't know. I heard it's pretty bad. It... You know, I want to see it, but I'm not going to pay $20 to see it. I'll wait till um, it gets a little cheaper. American Horror Story. I tried to get into that. I really haven't got into it or seen very many episodes. Um, Bates Motel Season 2. I just finished the first season. I, I don't know why, but I really liked it. Uh, I probably won't pick that up, though. Uh, just a bunch of older stuff. I'm not really interested in Sharknado 2. I'll definitely be getting that. Um, I really like the first Sharknado, but I, I kind of feel like this one is going to be bad. Like, like, I mean, the name alone is Sharknado 2, the second one. It's like, they're they're trying too hard now. <laughs> Look at, there's a fin on the end for extended, and then a bite out of that end. It's like, they're just trying too hard. With with the success of the first one, you know, they're, they're trying so hard to make a lot of money off this one, and I haven't seen it, I don't have cable, so I haven't seen it yet, I'm just afraid that it's just gonna be terrible in a terrible way, the first one was terrible in a good way though, um, there's supposed to be a new Aliens, um, did I pass that? I don't, I don't know what's in it, a new release of the first Alien movie, um, I was kind of curious in this, but I think it's just a new cover for Bad Santa, I don't think it's anything new. Uh, one of my favorite movies. I love that movie. Wrong Turn 1 through 5 collection. I don't know why they wouldn't just include all of them. Maybe they're made by somebody else. I don't know. Um, some Chuck Norris stuff. You know, mostly older stuff No, that I have no interest in picking up. So that's October 7th. October 14th. Uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. A lot of people are going to be picking this one up. I I don't know. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I thought it was okay, but I thought it was really overhyped. Um, they're going to have a standard Blu-ray <clears throat> uh, 3D, the Ultimate Edition. It's kind of a... I, li I like that as like an alternate cover. Um, but I think this is a Best Buy, this Best Buy exclusive thing. That's probably the, the one I'm going to try to get. It looks pretty cool. But, um, like I said, I wasn't the hugest fan of the movie. I didn't think it was that great. They also have this Magneto helmet thing for $70. Come on. They're, they're really trying to push those little extra things. This is a really neat. Um, only $92. Steven Spielberg collection. Uh, it's going to include a bunch of Blu-rays. Dual. The Sugar Land. I'm not... Express. I'm not sure what that is. Jaws. 1941. Which, I, I'm not a big fan of that movie. I thought it would be better. E.T., Always, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park, The Lost World. 
Uh, so, and I, th some of these are only gonna, like, these two, I think these three are only, at least for now, available in this pack on Blu-ray. Uh, if you haven't seen Duel, it's, uh, this, this semi, this guy's driving his, uh, his car and the semi is, like, on, chasing him for some reason. I don't know. It's kind of boring, but at the same time, you, you kind of like it a little bit. <laughs> um, nothing else. I don't think on that day that I'm interested in. Probably just X-Men mostly. Uh, October 21st, uh, Snowpiercer. I, I don't know what that is actually, but I think it's a pretty big release. Who's in this? Chris Evans. Really, Chris Evans? Yeah, I don't know anything about this movie, so I'm not really going to talk about it. <laughs> uh, the New Purge, Anarchy. I, I do want to see this. But I probably won't pay $20 uh, right up at the beginning to get it. I, I don't know. The, I was so disappointed with the first one. Um, I want to see this in theaters, but I never got around to it. Sex tape. And I, I don't think anybody else saw it either. Did horrible in theaters. Uh, they're listing the price at $23.59. I, that's another one that I'll probably wait till the price comes down. Kane See No Evil 2. I never even saw the first one. Uh... So I probably won't be checking that out. I don't know. They have two editions. Walmart exclusive alternate artwork. <laughs> okay. It, like, I don't get it. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. Why? Like, they didn't want it to be obvious that it said sex because it's at Walmart. And let's see. What would our, what would our last one be? The 28th? October 28th, just in time for Halloween. Looks like we got a lot of scary movies coming out. Um, Deliver Us from Evil. Was that the one with the with the cop? Yeah, the cop. Eh, it looked kind of interesting. I don't... I probably... I don't know. If it's 20, I'll pick it up. If not, I'll just wait on that. I'm not... I'm not in too much of a hurry to pick that up. It looks like a lot of these are Blu-ray ultraviolets you know no, no dvds and i'm fine with that just as long as the price is lower you know i don't want to pay the same price and not get the dvd i want to pay a lower price and not get the dvd that's that's the only big release it looks like nothing really nothing really very interesting to me so that's your october blu-ray releases what are you guys going to pick up obviously everyone's going to pick up x-men you know, are you interested in any of those other kind of major releases that weren't that popular? Has anybody seen Live, Die, Repeat? <clears throat> Excuse me, Edge of Tomorrow? <laughs> um, or A Million Ways to Die in the West? Anyways, I'd love to hear your thoughts on any of these movies, what you're going to pick up, what you're not going to pick up, and if there's anything coming out you think I should check out and I didn't say I was going to. But thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.